radio. Oh, yeah. I'm just so addicted, can't leave it alone. I had to say it three times, so a good Friday could show up. Hey, y'all know what it is. Your favorite cousin, Young Jock. Miss Shotnika and Shouty Shouty Man. Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over. You already know we got to top it off with the biggest thing happening today. There's some very important and pertinent information that you need to know, and we're not going to let you not get it today. Also, are you smarter than Young Jock? We got some money on the line. Can you beat me today? That's all I want to know. Date dilemma. We are definitely trying to keep y'all together in these relationships. I don't know. Some of y'all just don't know what you want. But you get some money on that also. Coming up, Miss Shanika, what you got? You got to keep it locked in right here because we got to get inside this word on the streets news and talk about the stars that you love to talk about. Now, Shawty, I heard you had a crazy report. Man, it's the craziest damn thing you're going to hear on an epic Friday. And it's coming up. On the Crazy Report. Also, more details on Georgia's high school shooting. You don't want to miss it, so make sure you stick around for more. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover brings you the biggest thing happening today. What's poppin'? Pop, poppin'? We are now live on your radio. All right, y'all know what it is, man. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Got to hit y'all with the biggest thing happening today. Swin, let me know what's going on with the biggest thing happening today, my brother. Oh, uh, man, Jock, they are reporting it. As a historic case, father of the 14-year-old school shooter suspect charged with murder. His name is Colin Gray. His son named Colt Gray, the father, was suspected to know all about Colt and guns that he may have possessed. Colt Gray's father was arrested. He is charged with the following. Four counts of involuntary manslaughter, two counts of second-degree murder, and eight counts of cruelty to children. These charges stem from Mr. Gray knowingly allowing his son, Colt, to possess a weapon. Oh, man. Shawty, you were saying earlier uh, as we were starting the show that parents are definitely going to need to be on high alert. Yes, yes. Parents, they have loose guns and things around the house. This is the second national case when the parents have been charged in the case when the child has went out and did a crime. So listen, lock the guns away because they are not playing. Man. Wow. And I think you should. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So do I. All right, that's the biggest thing happening today. Coming up, uh, Shawty Shawty is going to give us some comedic relief with the crazy <laughs> report. So get ready for that. We got a big, big show today, you guys. So please leave it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Yo, it's the craziest story you'll hear all morning. The crazy report is on right now. Shawty Shawty, run it down. Yeah, run it down is what we about to do, man. We need to run down the whole administration of this high school because they must be high letting this go on. Deer Creek High School students licking toes at a fundraising event. It was surprising. I didn't think we were going to be able to do all that. Y'all, it was like a petty option. I don't know if it was pedophile or pedicure, but it was like, hey, can I get a toe licking for 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 2, two toes licked for 2,000 Epstein pedicures sold to the pale man with the blue shirt on in the white van. And that's crazy. And you know I know crazy because I'm crazy. And, cra- <laughs> and crazy knows crazy. That's shouted with my name in with the crazy report. Follow me on all social platforms at Shouty the... Huh, can I get a comedian? Come <laughs> Shouty the comedian. Hi! Now let's get into these national days. All right, let's get into these national days, man. Today is National Food Bank Day. Look here, good people. Do not be afraid to donate, man. There are definitely people in need. And uh, I thought you were going say go. What you mean? Go to the food bank. I think I'm going to go over there today. And do what? Give me some food. Oh, man. All right. Today's National Lazy Moms Day. I don't know what that means. You, you just 
give your mom a break and let her be lazy for the day? Sounds like it. That sounds Oh, is it a shout out? To the lazy man. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, National House. Read a Book Day. Now, a lot of y'all don't know how to read a book, but y'all sure know how to read somebody when they get wrong with you. Mm-hmm. National Coffee Ice Cream Day. Well, as I look around the room, I don't think nobody in this room can eat coffee ice cream except for me and possibly Bunny. Because Swin can't, Shanika can't, Shouta can't. Oh, you know, it's... Y'all Boy, had toast y- Y'all are pooping that thing, thing up. Man. Hey, well, <laughs> let's talk about these celebrity birthdays. Virgo season, I can't say Virgo hard enough. Happy birthday to that boy Webby. You know what I'm talking about? NBA baller, star, John Wall. What's up, OG? My crazy partner, I love her to death. I love me some Macy Gray. Happy birthday, Virgo. My partner, partner, man. I don't care what y'all say. This is my dog, Foxy Brown, and Il Nana. And my partner, man, Mr. Idris Elba. Happy birthday. See, y'all don't be knowing. These Virgos really be taking over. <laughs> Swin, let's get into these local celebrity birthdays because we got to shout them out, too. They matter, Pim. It's about that time to wish happy birthday to all local celebrities. It's the birthday wish list where Young Jock in the streets want to take over. I heard it's your birthday. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, y'all. Uh, Steven Collier, a.k.a. Steve-O. Happy birthday, my guy. Let's get some shots later. Tasha Nicole, happy birthday, love. We got something special for you. We got a a bag of uh what we got a bag of IOUs because we ain't got it right now. Carol Robinson, you're Robinson, so it's automatically up for you. We love you. Happy birthday. Courtney Chase, happy, happy. Craig West, happy, happy. And Teron Jones, man, we wish y'all more, wish y'all many, many more years of life to come. If you want to get your name on the birthday list and be shouted out, whether it's you or someone you love, hit us at 1844YUNGJOC or hit us directly in our DM and let us know that uh, you want to be shouted out and we got you, all right? So make sure you stick around all morning long. It's Young Jack in the streets morning take over. It's Coco Jones. Coco Jones. That's right. Yeah. Every, every, every weekday from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., I'm listening to Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. That's right, Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Miss Shanika right here, Shouty Shouty, DJ Swin, and the Bonnie Banks. Of course, this morning we are talking about Atlanta rapper Rich Homie Kwan. Sadly, he passed away yesterday at the age of 33. Atlanta native DeQuantes Devante Lamar, otherwise known as rapper Rich Homie Kwan, died Thursday. I need an ambulance. Atlanta police got the call from Rich Homie Kwan's girlfriend Thursday. Never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. He kind of phoned at the an ambulance took Quan to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Williams says music was Quan's way of overcoming trials and tribulation. That Quan driving make you feel some type of way. Quan rose to fame in the early 2010s, trailblazing the evolution of trap music with songs like Type of Way and Flex. He helped form the group Rich Gang, which included rapper Young Thug, an artist currently in the spotlight in the Young Slime Life trial. Oh, man. Mm. Wow. Whoa. Um, just very, very surprising, shocking yes. news that um I mean very hurtful yes. to for the start, the city of Atlanta. Mm. And I mean he was a worldwide artist. He was still able to make money off of, you know, the songs that he made and uh uh travel. He mm. did come out and say that there were a couple of things going on with his label situation that we'll talk about later on in the show but I want to get to this this is the 911 call that was released Amber Williams. 911 operator 7214 what is the location of your emergency I need an ambulance tell me exactly what happened my boyfriend he's been asleep on the couch since this morning well he never came to bed last night I left him on the couch before I took my son to school this morning put a blanket over him and now I just checked on him again because he never got up I don't feel a heartbeat I don't see him breathing and you said on the couch and what happened I said I put a cover over him because it gets a little cool and now I just checked on him because I see he never got up and I don't see him breathing I don't feel a heartbeat or anything and I turned him over I see he kind of foamed at the mouth I'm sorry are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes. If there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. Very heart-wrenching. Mm. Um, yes. Very disturbing to hear this uh, 911 call. And it was released, I mean, so quickly. Yes. How are we able to listen to people's 911 calls 
Mm. I, I think that that needs to be stopped. Um, also, you know, Rich Homie Kwan, I mean, I know everyone in this room has had experience with, with him over the yeah. years of his music career. So we're going to talk about that later on in the show. But right now, we want to celebrate the life and the legacy of Rich Homie Kwan. Yeah. Turn up. Talk about that Kwan driving make you feel some type of way. I know, I know, oh, I know. Oh man, hmm. Miss Shanika Shaw. Oh, homie. Oh man. Listen, man. I uh, hmm. just did a show with um, Rich Homie Kwan in Columbus, Georgia, back in July. When I tell you that man tore that stage apart, the boy got so many hits. He just kept. He went overtime because he was having so much fun. That's what's up. Yeah. He probably felt that love, that much needed love on stage and we're going to talk more about rich homie kwan later on in the show his life his legacy some of his last interviews where he talked about his relationship with young thug Mm -hmm. he also spoke about the ysl trial and some of the things that woody Mm -hmm. said on stage i mean on Uh, uh hold on on stage on stage Mm -hmm. on the witness stand it's witness stage (laughs) <laughs> um and just so much more. Mm. Oh man, this is a this is a real tough one right here. Um yes. sending prayers and condolences out to Rich Homie Kwan's family, his friends, his fans. We all know how close him and his father yes. were, how close their relationship was. So um I also have details uh coming straight from the family and um they're saying that the rumors that Lil Bootsy put out about Rich Homie Kwan and him overdosing off of drugs was not true. So wow. I got that coming up inside the Word on the Streets news. Stay close. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Turn off the lights. <clears throat> the mics are on and ready to go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Word on the Streets, she be bopping, I need more. Word on the Streets, screaming bright like on a moped. Word on the street. That's right. Let's get inside this word on the streets news as we talk about the life and legacy of rapper Rich Homie Kwan. All right. Um, man, very tough news. If you are just um, finding this out, Um sent shockwaves around the the rap industry our our culture and especially the ATL Atlanta native DeQuantes Devante Lamar, otherwise known as rapper Rich Homie Kwan, died Thursday. I need an ambulance. Atlanta police got the call from Rich Homie Kwan's girlfriend Thursday. Never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. He kind of foamed at the mouth. An ambulance took Kwan to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Williams says music was Kwan's way of overcoming trials and tribulations. That Kwan driving make you feel some type of way. Kwan rose to fame in the early 2010s, trailblazing the evolution of trap music with songs like Type of Way and Flex. He helped form the group Rich Gang, which included rapper Young Thug, an artist currently in the spotlight in the Young Slime Life trial. All right. Mm. Well, let's talk about this. People know for some years now that Young Thug and Rich Homie Kwan had been at war with each other. I mean... The relationship that I seen between these young black men was a beautiful relationship. Mm -hmm. Literally, you did not see one without the other. And for them to be able to come together and, you know, make these hits that they were able to make and form their own like group. I was like, they are going to be unstoppable. Yes. You know, they were bringing people together. They were bringing um the Migos around their circle and I feel like that's when the, the Migos started getting more respect mm-hmm. in the in the in the street and accepted in the culture because you know they are from a place in Georgia that you know from the north side of Georgia and you yes. know at one time people weren't really respecting rocking that, with them right mm-hmm. um with that being said Rich Homie Kwan was asked about him and Thug, and would they ever unite? 
and I heard you on stage screaming free thugger, right? Yes, is there any chance that at some point in the future, either be unreleased music or whatnot, that we'll hear y'all on a song together again? Um, that I don't know. We do have a lot of music that hasn't been released, but who knows what the future holds. First and foremost, it's free thugger. Let's free anybody locked up. Let's free Lou Op, Lucci. It's a touchy situation, so I try not to talk about it a lot, but I don't know what the future holds, man. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have a conversation. And okay. it'll start from there. All right. Willing to have a conversation. And, you know, it, it got so tumultuous between the two of them. I heard that there was, you know, a, a strong amount of fear that he walked around with because, I mean, when you're in a public beef with somebody, you just never know. You don't. Yeah, really don't. Yeah. I mean, I even asked him when he came up here when we interviewed him. I'm like, so um, you, you want to throw a hooking up? Mm-hmm. How was that? And he's like, shout it, we ain't doing that. He okay. cut me straight off. All right. Yeah, because he probably didn't want to antagonize what was already going on. All right. Well, more talking about um, Rich Homie Kwan in my next word on the street news break. We're also going to talk about Angel Reese and whether Sierra Gates has a prenup or not. All that and more coming up inside the word on the streets news. You guys can follow me at Miss Shanika and follow us at Streets Morning Takeover. That's right, man. Y'all coming up. We got to talk about it because. Life is crazy, man. It's an every Friday, and I'm just telling y'all some it's some things I'm not trying to take it to the weekend. I want you to forget about some things too. We're gonna talk about it coming up. See y'all talking the streets morning takeover. Morning. Wake uh-huh. that ass up. It's a Friday. Matter of fact, it's an epic Friday. The epic mean what, Saudi? Forget about it. Forget about it. Hey. Young Jock in the streets want to take over. That's right. We back at it, man. It's, it's crazy. It's the top of the morning. I'm going to keep it 100. Um, some things I'm not trying to take it to the weekend. It's epic Friday. If it means forget about it. I said it. I got to say it again. I, I just I don't want to take any more heartache into the weekend. I don't no. want to take any more heartache into the weekend. Although, it's just starting for some of us. You know what I mean? It's going to be a ride, you know. But I'm going to try to keep my head up. I got a lot going on. And I pray that you are not um, taking any traumas into your weekend. What you got, y'all? Hey, man, I'm not going to take into this negativity into the weekend also. I want to have a really positive weekend. I'm going to jam my rich homie all weekend and just celebrate the life of a person who was great. And gone too too fast. Too soon. What's about what about you, Sha? What's your nigga? I am not gonna take people trying to steal my light into mm. the mm. weekend. Come and on. I'm going to keep my light and let it shine on me. I ain't mm. mad at you. I know that. Friend, y'all call us up. We wanna know, man. It's every Friday. What are you trying not to take into your weekend? Call us up. one 844 yungjoc That's one 844 Can't wait to hear from you. Yep. Keep it locked, young Jack in the street. Good morning. Wake that ass up. It's a Friday. Matter of fact, it's an epic Friday. The epic me what, Saudi? Forget about it. Forget about it. Hey. Young Jack, the streets want to take over. Yes, sir. We back at it. Yeah, man. It's Friday. It's a it's a it's a horrible Friday for me. This Friday, I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm. Woke up to some news yesterday. Uh, I actually didn't wake up to it. It was actually happening as we were, uh, I guess, getting off work. We got the call that uh, which homie Quan. Had uh, passed away, and uh, it's crazy. Atlanta native DeQuantes Devante Lamar, otherwise known as rapper Rich Homie Quan, died Thursday. I need an ambulance. Atlanta police got the call from Rich Homie Quan's girlfriend Thursday. Never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. He kind of foamed at the mouth. An ambulance took Quan to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Williams says music was Quan's way of overcoming trials and tribulation. That Quan driving make you feel some type of way. Quan rose to fame in the early 2010s, trailblazing the evolution of trap music with songs like Type of Way and Flex. He helped form the group Rich Gang, which included rapper Young Thug, an artist currently in the spotlight in the Young Slime Life trial. Yes, sir. Now, mm. of course, you know, you try to you try to, you know, be uplifting and positive, but I ain't gonna lie to you. This, this, I didn't want to take this until my weekend, show. No, I, no, I definitely didn't, man. I was actually rooting for uh, Rich Homie because he's had a lot of motion in the last few uh, months. Um, with his name being in the air from the thug trial to Woody, um, uh, talking about the barbershop, it just creates a, a new for him. And I was happy. And for this to tra- tragically to end like this, it's very 
sad for me. No, for sure it is. Miss Shanika. Yes, sir. We ain't taking no drama into the weekend, friend. Life's so short. You know what? I ain't gonna even talk mess to you for the next five days. We ain't no. I ain't, I ain't gonna talk no trash to you. Well, I ain't gonna see you for at least three of them. So. <laughs> you good? Well, four. Hey. So yeah, it'll probably be back right by Tuesday. Like, yeah, when I get yeah. Back. I'll be back on your top. Don't worry, man. Hey, man. Whoa. Some Jack in the streets morning to take over. We ask y'all on this epic Friday. What you're not taking into the weekend? Because you know what? What's that? Y'all deserve better. Yes. You deserve better. Stop. Look. Okay. If you think about it, it's only so much space in your mind that could be utilized at one time, right? Uh huh. You got to get rid of all the BS so all the good stuff could come in. And that is why I got to apologize to you. We ain't got to go into it, but I apologize for interfering in your business because that karma was right back on my ass. Hey, man, you know what? It was quick, too. Can you please yeah. take your love and hip hop? Um, um, yep. warlock powers off you, of my I life. I told you going to leave me alone. I uh, told, but, I, you know, but you know what we're going to do? You're left alone from now on. Thank you. No matter what I do, all I think about is you. You are now listening to The Day Dilemma with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. If you got a dilemma, they got a dilemma, which means we got a dilemma. It's The Day Dilemma. Who's on the line this morning? Good morning. I'm Felicia. I'm looking for uh, my little homie, Eric, and he ain't calling me. He just ghosted me, and I don't even know why. Your homie? Mm. Was a homie lover friend? Was... Yeah, he was my good little homie lover friend. Okay. Mm. Yeah, did you yeah, just let him hit right before he disappeared? I mean, you know. <laughs> Ma- ma'am, we're, we apologize for asking you those type of questions like that. No, we're they su- don't. We're supposed to do it a different way. We're they are like, not above this line of questioning. You're here. right. We're supposed to be like, did he smash and pass? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he didn't run. Nah, but I'm just messing with you, y'all. You know that. So you say you haven't spoken to him since when? Um, about, it's been about a good three months. Oh, Ooh. wow. Oh, snap. Yeah. You know, he's so, you know he been laying somewhere else, don't you? Time out, <laughs> Sean. You gonna hurt the girl. Be real. I love no, him. don't do that. Don't do that. So what makes you call us this morning out of three months, after three months? Because now I'm like, okay, now you really ghosted me. Like, what was the reason? I thought we were doing good for you to not call me in three months and even check up and say nothing. Damn. Okay. You got tired of trying on your own and you decided to call us. Yeah. Okay. That's usually how it goes. I just wanted to hear you say it. Wow. All right. Now, what's his name? His name is Eric. Okay. So you want us to call Eric and find out why he ghosted you? Yeah. And you want to get back with him? Yeah, I mean, it would be nice. All right, you going to put your phone on mute. We're going to contact Eric and try to see if we can get him to open up as to why. Do you even know why he goes to you? No, nothing. No idea, no clue. No clue. Not, he didn't cuss me out, nothing, nothing, no clue. Okay, well, this is going to be perfect for you. Trust. Uh, put your phone on mute right now. We're going to call Eric, all right? Okay. So, wait a minute, three months. She ain't talk to the man. She's still trying to get out of him. My boy put something on the phone. She gonna pick up this phone and be like, "You can't leave me now. I'm pregnant." Nah, we don't have to have him. Yeah, me. Set the man up. Hello. Hey, good morning, Eric. I know this is uh, just, just kind of early and out the blue, but I'm gonna hit you like this. It's Jean Jacques on the phone. I got Miss Shadnika and Shadow Shadow on the line as well. We want to just take the time to call and wish you a, a, a good morning. Oh, snow. Good morning. What's up? What's going on, y'all? So I know this is gonna be weird because it's just out the blue. Hey, but check game, right? Yeah. And we just want to ask you a few questions about relationships. Relationships and, and, and relationship goals. Okay. Okay. Are uh, you currently in a relationship? I'm single. Single. Did you recently deal with a young lady named Felicia? Felicia. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So we trying to trying to figure out why did you say bye, Felicia, and disappear? Nah, uh, sorry. She know what she did. I ain't got time for the games. Let me just get you, before you even say anything, let me, so you, I'm pretty sure it's going to put your mind at ease. Um, she had called us, and she was basically like, look, I really want my friend back. You know, she wanted to be back on good terms with you, relationship-wise, friendship-wise. And uh, apparently she has been able to get in contact with you, so we were her last option. And she never told us what happened. She just said, you know, you guys fell out of touch. You stopped contacting her. And she wants to know what did she do so bad that she had to get this type of treatment? Well, we didn't just fall out of contact. She knows what she did. Like I said, she she embarrassed me, man. She 
So you know Keith and James, right? What's he talking about? Wait a minute, Keith and James, you talking about the hats? Yeah, the red bottom hat. We wear them. All right, cool. That's one of my favorite hats. Keith and James was holding the event, though, right? So, like, I told her, you know, I was telling her about it. She surprised me with a hat. I ain't gonna lie. I was geeking, y'all. So I wore the hat to the event. When I'm at the event, I'm just there looking around. And I'm realizing, like, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why my hat look different? What type of event were you at? I was at the Keith and James event. Oh, you, okay. So, wow. You, you know, went to a Keith collection. You know, just out that collection. So, right. So I noticed, like, you know, everybody in there, all they had has got all these different colors and stuff. And, I, and I'm looking like, why mine's not even in the color collection at that? So I realized I had on a fake hat, bro. Oh. Got me a fake hat, man. Wow. What? So and then, nah, nah, that ain't it. So, you know, I was going to play it cool. Tell me why I had her phone. But I went to her browser, you feel me? Man, she got my head off Amazon. Oh. I had off Amazon, so, $24. So you $24. feel like she... Damn, so she knew it wasn't the Keith and James. Man, $24.99. So it embarrassed me, though, basically, long story short. It wasn't a good look. Well, something we need to tell you um, that you probably didn't even realize, but we actually have her on the phone. Like, seriously, you go through my phone like it was a gift. You didn't have to pull it apart. You went through my nah. phone and you know what the hat was? First of all, we got not even talked in a couple of months, so I'm not even going to go back and forth with you like my girl. Because you haven't you called played. me. You played me, though. You made me look like a fool. Like, I ain't no bum. I ain't no bum. Really? Like, don't give me nothing fake. None of that. I don't play like that. Like, why would you give me a hat twenty four ninety nine? You know how much them hats cost? It's a hat. It's a hat. You have to have that specific hat. You, it look nice. You didn't know before you got out there, you thought it was real too. Wow. So instead of you communicating with, you just ghosted it and just cut all yeah. cut all ties with him because of that. I mean, it was a little bit more to it, but yeah, I cut it off because like I ain't got time for the game. But and I told her how much that event means to me. But if she ain't couldn't afford it, I could have got my own hat. She's the one that wanted to give me a gift, but like you gonna gift me like get it right. So let me ask you a question, my boy, because we ain't got a lot of time and we just want to know what it's gonna be. I mean, you got upset about the hat. We understand. You know, you could have really just went and talked to her. You know what I'm saying? My girl had bought me some um, fake Adventist Creed one time, but she didn't know she had got tricked. She paid like $100 for the bottle. And he gonna give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently this young lady knew that it wasn't the Keith and James, but it was the gist of the counts. And you just ghosted her without no communication. What is it gonna be, man? Can you get a girl a second chance? I mean, shout it. We can be cool. I just ain't really trying to go further than that, for real. I just, it's I ain't, so lame. Can't afford me. I don't want to be with you. Ooh. I'm being lame, Eric. Don't don't worry about it, Eric. Sound like some real b you oh. can't afford me. Yo, you better go holler at Keith for James so you can get the real hat. Damn. <laughs> hey, man, it, I, I hate it comes to this, but on behalf of 1-800 Injured the Bethune Law Firm, y'all would not be receiving this $100. So I'll listen to y'all call us Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. That was the date dilemma with Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Hey, what's up? It's Soraya. Every weekday from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., I'm listening to Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. Make sure you keep it locked. Yeah, keep it locked. Throw away the key, baby. Okay, date dilemma. Felicia's looking for a friend, Eric, after he goes to the for like three months. Now, here's the thing. Um, Eric's one of those guys, you know, he be feeling himself. He feels a little flyer than most. And uh, he requested... Uh, uh, Keith and James hat. Y'all know the hats that you know look like the fedoras and whatnot with the red, the red, red bottom, brim, the red bottom brim, right? So he ends up going to a Keith and James event after she did purchase him what he believed to be a Keith and James hat. Mm-hmm. But while he was at the event, he noticed his hat looked a little different. It like the materials were different, just the craftsmanship, the quality of it all, just someone adding up. He didn't see his hat nowhere. Now everybody who had on the hat. They had they had those hats on display of some sort. They had all their hats. Oh, and his hat just wasn't one of the hats. His hats wasn't in the number. Wow! And he realized that she got his hat off Amazon. Amazing. She didn't go and buy the real thing. So yeah, he was like, you know what, man? I gotta let this go, baby. For, for one thing, you can't afford me. He felt like a real baddie, and he was like, she can't afford me. What's your thoughts on that, Shy? Oh man. Is he wrong? He knows his worth, apparently. Is he wrong? I mean, that's just like right now you tell a dude you want a you want a Louis bag or something. You want you, it's the Celine bag you want. I would never. And he I come back with the Feline. Bag. I would never expect for people to <laughs> pay 
for my indulgence or you know like the expectations. But if y'all rocking though, if y'all rocking, y'all rocking, y'all mm-hmm. y'all exchanging energy. No, that's like a present. Like but that's a surprise. I, like saying. that's a it, it wouldn't be a request because I can um afford buy it on your own. I can yeah. afford it on my own. Just, just imagine how he felt in that room, y'all. When everybody got the real hats on, they got the real hats on display, and he know he ain't got that on. It was like that time, man, you was at Linus, and you had uh-huh. that Gucci belt on, yeah. and that dude said, Shawty, where you got that belt from? I said, Shawty said, I looked at the belt, I looked at his face, I went and told Shawty, I said, Shawty, I think he's saying that ain't that ain't the real thing, my boy. And then I looked down at the belt, and the lion on the belt put his head down. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's not the street want to take over. Okay, What's your thoughts on this day, the little one? Jordan, to me, that seemed, a, that seemed a little bit materialistic as a dude to say some stuff like that, like, you can't afford me. I don't agree with that, really. She don't need to afford him. They don't need to afford each other. That's materialistic. He said he could get it himself, so he could have got it himself. So I guess I'm kind of different. It wouldn't make me feel no different at all. Yeah, but I think it's the it's the it's the moment of embarrassment. Let's let's not forget that you 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 appreciate her for doing it. You know what? Yeah, and then you realize, oh, you don't brought me to play play. Mm. Yeah, he was embarrassed. That's all it was. Is it? All right, now Miss Shanika will be bringing you the word on the streets in less than ten minutes. And are you smarter than Young Jock? Is on the way in the next hour. Go ahead and hit us right now, so we can you know find out that perfect contestant to get this money. I might win today. I I just think I'm feeling good. 1844 YUN GJOC. I'm just trying to uplift my spirits, man. Yeah. Rest in peace to Rich Homie Quan. It's your jock in the streets morning to take over. You know. What's happening? Your favorite cousin checking this at the top of the hour. And this Friday, you know, I always leave my Fridays with TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Um, this this morning, man, I'm, I'm I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm off beat. I'm, I'm feeling some kind of way, you know. After hearing the news of the passing of, you know, our brother, rich homie Quan, um, mm. it kind of just it just makes you realize more and more that tomorrow isn't promised, and you really have you know you know you don't understand what the end looks like until the end has come. And for some, they don't see the end because they don't even know they're gone. Mm. Um, and I, I just want y'all to you know, if y'all got any like, you know. Moments that you want to share that you possibly share with Quan, you know, the first time you heard this song, or you know, you and your kids always did this right here when that song came on. Any memories you got of you and you know, Rich Homie Quan, I love for y'all to call us up and just share them. Your favorite song, you know what I'm saying? Man, what? I remember when I first met Rich Homie, um, I had heard the album, uh, some type of way, I was jamming it, and so they had a Christmas holiday, uh, show that uh, they did with all the stars. They did in Atlanta. And I went with Shawty Low. And when I bumped into Rich Homie, he knew me from all the videos. He was like, oh, Shawty. He was like, boy, I love you, man. I watched y'all my life. He was like, man. I went on stage with him. And we rocked out. Uh, and it was jamming. Came off stage. And August Alcina was in the back trying to fight Rich Homie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they, and they it was a you know, scuffle for a minute. And Rich Homie had security and everything. And we went on out the back door. And August Cena was by himself. But that was the first time I ever met both of them. Wow. Yeah. That's what's up, man. What a colorful story. That is I a know. Story. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> a little spicy on them. It was spicy. It was, it was, hey, man, it was turned up. We definitely had a great time. And yeah. it was the start of a good relationship. I remember man. one day I looked up and I seen this black Rafe pull up next to my Rafe <clears> at my club. And I'm like, who are that? And then my partner walked up and said, man, your, your boy want to come come rock with you. Who is that? He, the door opened his corner. I'm like, wow, I didn't even expect corn to pull up like that. Especially like unannounced, man. And, and we had a chance to just chop it up, man. It was just like good to see homie come through and just kick it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and show love and just feel safe. A lot of cats came to my spot because they felt safe. You know what I'm saying? They know I went with the BS. And, uh, you know, he will be missed. I want y'all to call us up. I'm going to try to bring it up a little bit. But I'm, I'm human, you know. I can act like everything is okay, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, we just lost Fat Man Scoop. That was a shake-up to our community. Um, and, and then here we are with this one. So, again, one eight four four Y U N G J O C. Moments and memories with, with with Rich Homie Quan. Let me know your favorite song. Call us up. We gonna we got a tribute today to him, man. The whole day is for you, Quan. Yeah. Keep it locked. Young Jack in the streets morning take over. That's right. Young Jack in the streets morning take over. Miss Shanika right here. 
Shouty Shouty, yeah. DJ Swin, the Bunny Banks, and we're talking about the life and legacy of rapper Rich Homie Quan, who sadly passed away yesterday at the age of 34 years old. Um, man, so many memories that we have of Rich Homie. I mean, so many days that we hung uh at Club Liqueur in the ATL with uh, Young Thug and and Baby and they were like you know brothers and when their relationship like when it turned into a beef I was so saddened because I was like they were really close like you felt the love you felt it even in the music that they were able to create in the Rich Gang yes man and they had some they had something that type of way album was a a crazy album for them to collab on and the magic they had together I hate it got uh, took apart man I remember this one time uh, there was an investor in Macon Georgia when I lived there was doing radio there and uh, he wanted to bring a hot artist and he uh, geared younger so he and I had a conversation one of my guys on my team was like yo we gotta get Rich Homie if you're in this position to make that decision swing and give him an artist do Rich Homie and that was Rich Homie's first uh performance first show outside of 285 outside of the metro atlanta and the boy killed it man i had a chance to interview him on the radio and that's when i really realized uh people from and guys from atlanta are different rich homie kwan he talked different he moved different and it was just so cool and smooth how he do how he did it how he did it and uh then to in 2024 I uh, do a show with him in Columbus, Georgia. The boy is a dog on the stage, man. Shouts out to Rich Homie Kwan. That's what's up. Yes. All right. Well, um, man, so many people calling in to send their condolences to Rich Homie Kwan. Much love, man. Shout out and condolences to him and his whole family. For sure. That was very sad. My husband came out to um, walk through at our wedding uh, reception. So that definitely holds dear to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> his groomsmen. So my name is Lashana. My best memory of Rich Homie is me and my family always get together. Our favorite song from him playing was Walk In and we used to all walk around the table and he gave a video. Lavonda. My best Rich Homie Quan memory is that whole Reloaded album. That album was so off the chain. I remember my boyfriend trying to get back to with me with that song that he had I, I else with you girl. <laughs> my name is Ari. I love me some Rich Homie. My favorite album is I Promise I Will Never Stop Going In. All those songs on there was banging. And I just wanted to shout out I love you. Long live Rich Homie. Yeah, Rich Homie. That's my man. I be feeling like the man when I walk through. Hey! hey with the when I walk through. Oh, oh. Good job, boy. Well, I'm in the mood to hear some Rich Homie Quan. Long live Rich Homie Quan. May your music and your legacy live on forever. It's Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? The king and his gang. gang Only with Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. Who's on the line? Javion. So Javion gonna play me today? Yeah. Mama, you gonna have to help him out, mama. You ready, Javion and mom? Yeah. Let's get it. All right, here are the rules. Javion, you have 10 seconds to answer each question. The first person to get all three questions correctly will be the winner. You guys cannot answer each other's questions questions and you can't answer the question after 10 seconds or you are going to be disqualified okay okay all right so here is the first question and mom feel free to help him out this morning all right javion which team won the 2024 all-star game was it a the east b the north c the south or d the west um, you said so. You're saying A. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. You are correct. <laughs> All right, young Jack. Yes, ma'am. What's the last word in this famous Toy Story quote? To infinity and A forever. B more or C beyond. Beyond. Is that your final answer? Yes. Two. You are correct. (laughs) Yeah, buddy. All right. We won and won. Maybe on. 
which of the artists did Double XL name the 2024 Best Female Rapper? Was it A, Ice Spice, B, Sexy Red, C, Gloss Up, or D, Scarlet? Um, what do you think? Um, Two. Sexy Red. You are correct. <laughs> Young Jack. <laughs> yes. Which of these NBA All Stars won the 2024 All Star Game three point contest? Was it A. Damian Lillard? Was it B. Trey Young? Was it C. Ray Allen or D. James Harden? A. Damian Lillard. Three. You are correct. Uh All right, so y'all, the score is 2-2. You could break the tie if you know this answer. Javion, which of these artists won the 2024 People's Choice Award New Artist of the Year? Was it A, Sexy Red, B, Ice Spice, C, Coco Jones, or D, Money Long? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Three. Two. One. Okay, that's not correct. I'm sorry. Young Jack, which of these artists won the 2024 People's Choice Award New Artists of the Year Award? Was it A, Sexy Red, B, Ice Spice, C, Coco Jones, or D, Money Long? How you say his name, Javion? Yep. <laughs> Javion, I love you. I do. I love you. Two. But I'm going to go with Ice Spice. Is that your final answer? Yes. All right. I'm sorry, Javion and Mom. <laughs> Jock won this morning. <laughs> I didn't want to beat you, but I had to. Yeah, it's okay. He'll be trying to get through to y'all. Everyone to be so cool. Good job. All right. Well, do y'all have any shout outs this morning? What's your school, Javion? Elementary. What's the school, Mama? Elementary. All right. Thank you guys so much for calling Thank and y'all. playing. Are you smarter than Young Jack this morning? You guys have a great rest of your day. You too. All right. Test your wits. Test your knowledge for cash and prizes. Take it, take it, the game, the game's mine. It's Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? The king and his gang. gang Only with Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. Good morning and thank you for rocking out with us. We got to get back into this uh, this story. I knew there would be more uh, more to come of it. Uh, after learning Colt Gray's father, who happened to be the young man in the the shooting on uh, the Georgia shooting at Appalachia High School, it has come out that his father is now being charged as well. Colt Gray's father was arrested. He is charged with the following four counts of involuntary manslaughter, two counts of second degree murder, and eight counts of cruelty to children. These charges stem from Mr. Gray knowingly allowing his son, Colt, to possess a weapon. I was said that he bought it for him for Christmas. Whoa. Well. I mean, you know, you sit back and you ask yourself, like, when you put something like this in a child's hand, Mm Mm-hmm. This is not a, you know, airplane, you know, a little RC airplane or a gas power RC race car. This is a, this is a weapon, and it, it, it's a, it's an assault, assault weapon. In certain cultures, people teach their kids how to hunt, and so the kids have a rifle at a young age. Not the kid that was on the FBI list the year before. You're correct. You know, now, because you're 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 telling the people that you want your child to kill. Well, this is what it is. Because he had intentions to kill, and then you give him the weapon to use. Yeah, That's the, crazy. Yeah, they it's, they it's, were interviewed. He definitely. Uh, he, you're starting to see it a lot more. Like we spoke on it yesterday. There have been what 45 school shootings. Yeah, in the United States, in just this year. In just this year, and we've seen on. One, two, three. This is the third occasion where the parent or parents have been charged. Yes. You know, you got the young lady whose son shot the teacher. Yes. And they charged her. Yes. You got the last one of the last school shootings where they charged the mother because she knew she had the text message and the, well, her son was telling her what he was going to do. She said, hey, you just better not get caught. 
So now you're starting to see that there's a cycle taking place, and it's starting to look like, hey, your kid going to get you locked up if they're out here doing craziness like this. Parents, in the world. watch what your kids are doing because you're going to be held accountable, as you should. Loose guns around the house. Parents, today, retract and look at what's going on at your home. See what your kids are doing because it's very important. It is. It definitely is. And we'll definitely keep you um, in the know as more details. It's going to keep coming out about mm. this, man. You know, again, our hearts uh, go out to the families of the uh, deceased victims. Miss Shanika, what you got coming up, buddy? All right. Well, you got to keep it locked in right here. We definitely have a lot to talk about. We got to catch up with what's going on with Angel Ree. She's opening up about her relationship with Caitlin Clark. Also, Sierra Gates is talking about does she want prenup? Well, we shall see. And Meg the Stallion just got crowned. Uh, yes, find out what award she just accepted. And she has some more things to brag about. All that and more coming up inside the Word on the Streets News in less than 10 minutes. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Word on the Streets going down like Jock said. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. Yep, let's get right into it. Angel Reese is opening up about her relationship with Clayton. <laughs> Caitlin Clark and uh, yeah she's getting into it Caitlin is an amazing player and I've always thought she was an amazing player we've been playing each other since high school and like knowing that there's never been beef like we've talked trash to each other at AAU it's been that so I think it's really just the fans her fans the Iowa fans that are like they ride for her and I, and I respect that respectfully but sometimes it's very disrespectful there's a lot of racism when it comes to it and I don't believe she stands on any of that and that's what I was going to say because it gets racist because there is a white woman and a black woman at play. So we understand being fans, but leave the racism at home. Mm-hmm. Moving right along, she also set the record straight about riding in the car with G Herbert. When I tell you, like, I can call G Herbert to this day, like, he told me from when I got drafted, if I ever did anything in Chicago, he'll make sure I'm straight. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't even off no, like, flirting or anything. It was literally straight off, like, I got you, sis, like, mm-hmm. making sure that you're straight, because I'm new to the city. Like, we had went out to Bevy that night. I am 6'3, so I sat in the front seat of a car that wasn't tinted. tinted and my friends was in the back. Girl, he seen them yams at that basketball game. Yeah, heard me. All right. Sierra Gates is talking about whether she is getting a prenup for her new marriage. We're just engaged. In a marriage, I feel like when it's hip, God sent and heaven sent, and you know that that's the person truly who God sent for you, then it should not be any type of paperwork involved, even though I feel like marriage is still like a business. See, Ura, why did you do the whole video and the, um, the graphics and stuff in front of the courthouse if you ain't married? Because we thought you had just got married, girl, and you just engaged. Okay, girl, congratulations. And Meg the Stallion lands a Pepsi commercial. Shout out to I don't see competition. I don't let haters stop me. I do my big one every time because I know it's watching. I'm the one to beat. Make them get on their feet. I'm the one that got your best fighter losing sight. Alrighty then. Also, she has recently been honored as Billboard Artist of the Year. So congratulations to her. And I am going to wrap things up with sending our sincere condolences to Rich Homie Kwan's family, fans, friends, supporters. Definitely sent shockwaves through the rap community, through our culture, because this was definitely unexpected. The difference between me and you is I'd rather get money and try to fill me. Walk in 30,000 in my pocket, I'm getting good deal like, oh, $10,000 on your piece. I'm not gonna ride for my phone, my phone, my phone, my phone, my dad with my finger on the truck. Yeah. For my mama, I do. them long nights, I swear to God, I do it for the come up. Hey. I be feeling like the man when I walk through. Hang something what you saying when I walk through. I got out of what you staring when I walk through. I do it hard to hear at first. I couldn't understand what you were saying. And this bitch bound to get hurt. Cause a lot of these I drop top of my wheel. That car I'm driving make you feel some type of way. I know, I know, I know. Long live Rich mm. Homie Kwan. Make yes. your contribution to our culture and your songs live on forever. That is the word on the streets news. I am Miss Shanika. You guys can follow me at Miss Shanika and follow us at Streets Morning Takeover. Thank you, Miss Shanika. Very, very well said. Hey, man, time for the love, Doc Jock. 
you like to just chime in and, you know, tap in with the boy, get some of this good relationship advice I'm trying to get to y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm serving it up hot on the dish today. one 844 See, That's one 844 It's John Jock in the streets. Morning, take over. It's about that time for the love, Doc Jock. Help me help you help okay. me. Okay, come on. What's your problem? And this guy will either help or hinder your relationship. Who do I think I am? Why I tell people that? Either way, he's a man for the job. It's Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. You're on live with the love, Doc Jock. How may I help you? I'm not a fan of people who cheat because it's happened to me before. I mean, I feel like I know what I need to do. It's just going about getting it done. Um, what do you need to do? Well, I don't want to say that. <laughs> Because he might be listening, but but I just... Well, say what I, you need to do. And if he's listening, this might be the best way. You can hear it firsthand. I mean, I love him. And I want to... I really want to make things work. I mean, we have children together. We've mm. done... Ran up a check together. I mean, we've done the necessary things that we need to do in order to go ahead and just, you know, call it what it is. Make that title happen, you know, and go into marriage. I'm about to be 25 and I, I'm working. I'm in school and I'm ready to settle down and I feel like he's just not ready. I don't know if he feel like he's missing out on potential or whatever, but it's just I mean, for me, I know what I want and for him, I guess it's just like, you know, he don't really know. You know the craziest thing when it comes to a man and a woman? What? Women are taught quality and men are taught quantity. If you think about a woman, we'll look at something and be like, perfect example, y'all can go in a store and buy a small bag and they be like, $10,000 $10, for that one little bag? And a man be like, baby, you know what I can get for $10,000? How many bags I can get you? Oh, how many other things I can get you? Because we're taught more. That's why when you look at a man's a commercial for a man, a pickup truck, get the all new, bigger, more powerful, more durable, tougher, such and such truck. You walk in the store, triple Big Mac. Now, in the commercial with the triple Big Mac, who eating it? It's a man. What's happening is women, when y'all feel that the quality is there, y'all are ready to lock in. Men will feel that the quality is there, but they want more. And that's why men be unsettled sometimes. And you feel like, well, what's the problem? Well, you don't love me enough? Then you start going back, reevaluating yourself and what you're doing and what you're not doing right to make this happen. It's right. And it's like, I shouldn't have to get you to see my worth. Because if you don't see it, then the next person will. You know? That is. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? That's the advice that I didn't even have to give you. I just helped you get to it. That's the love, Doc Jock. All right, look, if you got a small business, here's a chance to be spotlighted. Hit us. Keep it right here where you got it, young Jock. Young Jack in the streets morning to take over. Miss Shanika right here. Shouty, shouty. And we are talking to our girl, Ebony McMorris. She is our AURN White House correspondent. How you doing this morning? Hey, y'all. You know what? What's going on? In the political scene is heating up. We've got the highly anticipated showdown between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump. It's going down Tuesday, September 10th mm. at the National Constitution Center in Philly. This is the one and only debate that they'll have before November's election. Okay. So, Ebony, what are the expectations or should I say the vibe that's going into this debate? First, don't forget how we got here, Jock. The last debate with Biden didn't go at all according to plan. He eventually dropped the race, passed the torch to Harris, and for many, the unexpected happened. She garnered support from both sides. Most recently, Liz Cheney, this a Republican, raised the most money of any presidential nominee and expanded the map in places like your backyard, Georgia, and North Carolina. And with the polls as tight as they are, expectations are high not to mention Harris and Trump have never met face to face before. Mm. So this is the first time they're sharing a stage and it's Trump's seventh presidential debate. Look, I already got my Garrett popcorn side town mix for my debate party. It's going to be lit. I know that's right. So I got another question. What's different this time? in the rules. Like, there's been a lot of back and forth with that. So, the rules are the same this time, and the format is the same as it was with Trump and Biden. Trump initially was trying to back out of the debate because Harris's team wanted to change the rules on muting the mic. Both candidates will, however, get two minutes to answer questions, a two-minute rebuttal, and an extra minute for follow-ups. Harris's camp wasn't happy because they wanted the mics open throughout the debate. They basically said, no, let him talk his talk. And his camp was absolutely like, no, it's a setup. Don't do it. They know how he can get off the hinge, everything. 
And you also know that Harris was going to press him on hard issues like Project 2025, tax cuts for the wealthy, and comments he recently just made on child care costs where he said that the costs aren't that bad here in America. <laughs> What's Trump angle around this debate? So, sorry, sorry, look. Trump has said he's not really into formal rehearsals. His camp says talking to voters is how he preps, right? So he's going to attack Harris on her role in what he calls binomics, the border crisis. He says she flip-flops on issues like fracking. He's been trying to frame her as an ineffective and dangerous liberal. He's really struggled to land attacks on her. The nicknames haven't stuck. Making fun of her laugh didn't work. And questions around her blackness backfired. The challenge for him against Harris will be to stick to a clear message because if he gets caught up in personal attack, the question is, will that dissuade undecided voters? They're focused on her ability also to connect with everyday Americans, especially on economic issues. Trump's camp, though, is trying to remind everybody of what he did on business. Mm. Wow. Well, Ebony McMorris, we definitely want to take the time to say thank you for being our inside eyes and ears as a White House correspondent, man. And you know what? It's great for the people to actually get a chance to see, you know, some 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 better and clearer insight. We appreciate you much. Thanks for having me on. Um, you can follow me across social media at Ebony McMorris on IG, Facebook, Twitter, or go to AURN.com to see my latest stories. Thanks, y'all. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all got to stick around because there's more to come. And we got to fill y'all in on a lot, man. So stick around. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Yeah. Friday is Friday. A lot of y'all getting your day going. Some of y'all have rolled with us all morning long. We appreciate you. Hey, uh, y'all know how it is. It's an effort Friday. Effort mean forget about it. Don't take any trauma into this weekend. Don't take any shorts or um, losses into the weekend. I just want to leave you with that, man. It's love. Michelle Nick, what's happening? All right. Well, I got to say happy birthday to Treezy. Happy birthday, Treezy. Long time listener, long time friend of mine, uh, representing at Drip TV. You know what it is, man. Everybody that can hear me, y'all stay safe this weekend. We'll see y'all Monday. Hi! That's right. It's love, man. Keep it locked. Young Jock in the streets morning to take over. Rest in peace to the homie, rich homie, corn man. Rest in peace to the homie, rich homie, corn man. You hurt the city with this one, boy. But we love you.